Hello all, Dan from DroneBlog.com here. In today's video, we will be walking through the steps needed to set up waypoint missions, either on-site or even remotely, for the DJI Mini 4 Pro. Now, feel free to use the chapters to skip to the areas of the walkthrough that pertain to you. Briefly, for those new to drone waypoints, waypoints are a function that allows the DJI Mini 4 Pro to fly a pre-planned route while performing various actions autonomously. Now these actions include automatically taking photographs and videos along the route of areas pre-designated by the drone operator. The mission route can be saved and rerun over and over again using the exact same parameters every time. Because of this, waypoints are perfect for construction progression photos and videos, before and after shots, seasonal progressional photos and videos, day-to-night real estate videos, and much, much more. We'll talk about setting up and running waypoint missions. First, we'll focus on basic waypoint setup. While in video mode, fly to the location where you'd like to start your waypoint and tap the waypoints icon on the left of your screen. Press either the C1 button or the plus symbol to add a waypoint. After adding your first waypoint, you'll see it on the mini-map to the left, as well as on the waypoint list. Continue flying around the area, adding as many waypoints as you need. Face a direction you'd like the drone oriented when flying, even though this can be changed later. And when you have finished all of your waypoints, you'll see the final duration, distance, and waypoint count, which will be in parentheses, for the mission. Modifying the waypoints in the current mission. After the waypoint mission has been mapped out, there are a lot of different options to customize each and every waypoint in the mission. To modify a waypoint action, simply click on the waypoint number you'd like to modify and adjust the parameters. The actions for the initial waypoint can be mass applied to all waypoints in the mission if you so desire to. Additionally, all options can be modified at any time after the mission has been saved. If you need to delete waypoints, simply select the desired waypoint. You'll enter the modification screen for your chosen waypoint, and from there, you can press the delete icon. To view your current waypoints, Tap the mini map in the bottom left hand corner. To go back to the live view or the camera view, you tap that area again. Now after all individual waypoint options have been adjusted to your liking, there are a few steps involved with actually running the mission, which we'll go through now. Before running the mission, there are global mission based settings that can be likewise set, and we'll look at those as well. Now the first step is to press the back arrow on the waypoint modification screen. If you made no modifications to any of the waypoints, then you'll just go to the next step. You'll want to press next on the right hand side of the waypoint section. You can either press go on this next screen or change the final overall flight settings first and then press go. After pressing go, wherever the drone is in the air, it will then proceed to the first waypoint. It will adjust the height, the heading, and gimbal tilt, and then proceed to run the mission. We'll now talk about saving the waypoint mission. Any waypoint mission can be saved upon completion. The automatic way of doing so would be by exiting the waypoint function entirely. At this point, upon exit, you'll be prompted to either save the mission and exit, or exit without saving. You can also manually save your waypoint mission. So to manually save your mission, press the save icon, which looks like a sheet of paper. You'll then be brought to the waypoint history screen with your current waypoint mission on the top. Press save. Here you can choose between either save, which will save the mission as a generic file name, or save as, which will allow you to save the mission as something recognizable. Your newly saved waypoint mission will now show up with the date the mission was saved. Now lastly, we'll talk about creating remote waypoint missions. 
One of the great things about the Waypoint Mission Planner is that you don't have to be at the location where you'd like to fly to create waypoints. Now for this video, I created a mission miles from where I initially ran the previous waypoints. I created the mission earlier in the day, then drove about 30 minutes to the location where the mission would run later in the day and ran the mission. This could be useful for those who need to plan client or commercial missions before getting on location. Additionally, with the ability to modify waypoints in the mission planner, any height and action adjustments can be made once on location and surveying the mission site. To remotely create a waypoint mission, while both the Mini 4 Pro and remote controller are on, tap on the area map in the lower left hand corner of the screen. Then expand the area map in the camera view screen. Next, open the waypoint mode by pressing the waypoint icon on the left hand side. Locate the area on the map you'd like to place your first waypoint. Tap the area with your finger to set the waypoint. Continue to do this for all the waypoints needed. Next, save the waypoint mission by tapping on the save icon. And of course, you can either save the mission or do a save as and name the mission something custom. Lastly, you'll exit the waypoint mission planner. Well, that's all for this video. If you have any specific questions about this or our other videos, we'd love for you to join us at DronePilots.com. For more tutorials and reviews, head to DroneBlog.com.